Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. By now, you've probably heard about Microsoft's Copilot, which is an artificial intelligence assistant that they are working into all of their tools. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Copilot in the Microsoft Edge browser, where you can seamlessly search for what you're looking for and you can generate content on the fly. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I am in the Microsoft Edge browser and you can find Copilot up here at the top right. Just look for this icon and click it and it will open up the Copilot. Now, the first thing I want to call out here is chat. This is essentially a human-like conversation you can have with the AI while you're searching the web. So rather than coming over here and doing our traditional search where we get millions and millions of results, we can use the Copilot chat to help us find what we need much faster. The first thing you do is choose a conversation style. It could be creative, balanced, or precise. I'm going to go with precise and down here, I'm going to type in what I'm looking for. What are some affordable online music instrument stores? Submit. All right. And we can see that the AI is conducting the search for us and now generating some answers. Here are some online stores where you can find affordable music instruments. Amazon, Musician's Friend, Reverb, Zzounds. So we got these great results here. We even get links to the resources that have been surfaced and we can click on these and take a look at the site. And what I like is I can click on the site. It loads here in the browser for me, but I still have my AI chat session open here on the right. All right, another thing you'll notice here, there are more questions that get surfaced to help you refine what you're looking for. So for example, they're recommending another question to ask, such as, what are some good beginner instruments? How do I know if an instrument is right for me? Can you recommend a music store near me? And so I can simply click on these and it will begin to generate a response based on internet search. So this is a really nice way to have a back and forth human-like conversation with a virtual search assistant. All right, the next piece that's part of Copilot here in the Edge browser is Compose. Now this is where you can use generative AI to generate text. Let's say for example, that I want to write a letter to my music school and ask them to purchase new instruments. I've also added provide five reasons why it is important to have new instruments. Now below that, I can select the tone of my message, professional, casual, enthusiastic, informational, funny. I'm going to stick with professional. Down here is the format, paragraph, or am I composing an email? Am I creating a list of ideas? Or is this a blog post? I'm going to stick with paragraph. Below that we have length, short, medium, long. And then when we're ready, we click generate draft. And boom shakalaka, there you see the generative AI composing this message for me. And we can see here by scrolling up, we can see that it's got an introduction and it's got five reasons why we would like new instruments. And there's a closing. Now, once this is done, I can take this and copy it and paste it into an email message or a document, however I want to use it. Right here, you have the option of regenerating a brand new written letter. And then down here, there are some suggested ways to refine the message. So we could rewrite the letter with a casual tone, or we could add more reasons to the letter. Now, this piece down here is add to the site. And what's interesting about this is if you are filling out an online form, for example, you could with one click paste this into the website. So for example, just to show you, I can click into this search field, 
click add to site and it's going to paste my message right into that field. So really cool, especially if you are filling out an online form. So that is the generative AI that's built into Copilot. And the final thing we have here is insights. So we can click on insights and what this will do is it will surface related information about the site that we are viewing. And it will also give us an opportunity to look at some data around this website. Here we have some related sites that are similar to what we're looking at. We have some related searches. And then down here, we can actually give feedback and rate this website. And we can see more insights and analytics about this specific website, such as web traffic, who visits the site, how visitors find the site. So really nice additional use of the Copilot to surface other related information. All right, when you're done using Copilot, you can simply click the X to close out of this. And when you come back into Copilot and you come back to your chat, you can go to your history and pull up your chat search history anytime. All right, and that is how you use Copilot in Microsoft Edge.